not mean that he is not being driven by anything. In Shakespeare's source material for the play, the novella by the Italian author Cino Meet me in the janitor's closet Iago after is class. Evil and devilish, I need to talk to you. Intent on destroying Othello's life, and with a clear motive. But Shakespeare's Iago is more dangerous. I can't explain it right now. I'll tell you later in the janitor's closet. Miss Johnson, is there something you'd like to share with the class? Actually, yes. Thank you for asking. I'm throwing a party this Friday, and you're all invited. Nine o'clock. And no earlier, because my parents leave at 8.30. Janitor's Closet, 1.55. Don't be late. Good, you're here. Did anyone see you? It matters because this is top secret business. <laughs> I'm scaring you. Don't worry, I'm not working for the CIA or something. But maybe you should sit down. No, on the plush velvet sofa. <laughs> yes, on the floor. Just sit here next to this bucket of... Whatever that is. Gross. I would have met you in the gym, but they're having basketball practice right now. The janitor's closet was the second best option. So, anyway, why I brought you here. I have a proposition. Well, more like a favor. I need you to pretend to be in a relationship with me. What? Is that so crazy? Yes, I'm perfectly serious. Yes, I want you. Can you stop with all the questions now? I need you to pretend to be in a relationship with me so I can make my ex-best friend jealous. She's dating Justin now. She was all over him less than a week after he and I broke up. Little snake. So, you're my revenge plan. Don't be ridiculous, you're perfect for this. Because... Well, okay. Basically, she and I both kind of had a crush on you a while back. Like a long while back. Don't let it go to your head. And since we both liked you, we sort of promised each other that neither of us would go for you. That's like the basic rules of girl code. You don't go after someone you know your best friend likes. But she's not my best friend anymore, seeing as she stabbed me in the back. So this is how I'm going to make it even. Honestly, I don't know if she still likes you. I mean, a crush like that does take a while to wear off. Plus, she does stare at you a lot. Seriously, you've never noticed? Her eyes are glued to you 24-7. <laughs> you are so adorably oblivious. Well, anyway, even if she's not into you anymore, it's only a matter of time till she falls for you all over again. Because of how good we'll look together. What's in it for you? I think that's pretty obvious. <laughs> no, not me. I'm talking about social status, of course. Popularity. What, you don't care about popularity? Everyone cares about popularity whether they're willing to admit it or not. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, if not for the popularity, how about the parties? All the fun you'll have? Dating the most popular girl in school is a lifestyle change. You won't even recognize yourself in a week. 
I know you're perfectly content with how you are right now. I get it. But, okay, this whole thing won't be changing you, per se. It's more like it'll make you into a cooler version of your current self. <laughs> Please. Good question. We'll only be faking a relationship for a few weeks at best. Just long enough to really get under her skin. But, you know, obviously, you can call it quits whenever you want. I'm not going to force you to date me like some psychopath. But just for the record, there are a lot of people who would kill to be in your shoes right now. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so here's the important part. We need to make it look real. We need to convince them that we're crazy about each other. Can you do that? I can do that, no problem. It's you I'm worried about. Well, maybe you're a bad liar. <laughs> Prove it. Lie to me right now. <laughs> Look me in the eye when you do it. Eye contact is vital. Okay, not too shabby. For a second there, I could have actually believed you had feelings for me. Now, um, let's practice kissing. You heard me. Don't tell me you're shy. We need to make it look real. And people are going to be able to tell if we've never kissed each other before. So kiss me. What are you staring at me all bug-eyed for? Haven't you kissed a girl before? Fine, if you won't do it, I will. Now, next time, just try to relax into it a little more. You're not nervous, are you? Don't tell me I make you nervous. I thought you were unfazed by the whole popularity thing. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Oh, I should also mention that I'm throwing a party on Friday. Maybe you heard. But anyway, I was hoping you would come. It's the perfect setting for everyone to see us together. Okay, so it's a deal then? You'll pretend for me? Great. Well, let's get out of here. It smells like bleach. I'll see you in class. Remember... Eye contact is very important. <laughs> also, your hair could be fluffed up a little. That's better. <laughs> <laughs>